Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Holloway's Garage. Uh, today we're going to be working on this um, 2008 Chevy Duramax uh, Silverado HD. This is one I bought from Copart, and uh, when I did buy it, there, the whole front end was smashed in on this thing. Um, so it was pretty, everything was kind of pushed back in here. So uh, I went to go charge the AC, it's starting to get warm out now and everything. So I figured I better get the AC working, and uh, sure enough there's a hole in the uh, condenser. So we're going to um, swap the condenser out and then charge this thing up and hopefully we'll be in good shape for uh, this summer. So uh, let's hop in it and start ripping the front end of this apart. So first thing you're going to want to do is pop all these, there's all these little uh, plastic retainer clips or whatever you want to call them up on the top and of course I think I would have bought a tool for it by now. Um, so I actually just ordered one off Amazon, but I don't have a tool for it, so I just use a screwdriver. It works pretty good the majority of the time, uh, but sometimes hey, <laughs> you end up just snapping them off and having to put new ones in. So basically, if I if this was removable, I'd be set because I'd be able to just pull it straight up just unbolt it and pull it straight up I'd be done in 10 minutes um, there are there's nuts on the back of here I'm gonna try those first if I can get this away I might be able to slide this up underneath let's uh let's see if that'll work so here there's this, uh, there's two bolts back here. They are both 10 millimeter. Two more. Let's see what we got here. You have two more on either end here. Um, one and two, and then same on this side. Yeah, one and two. So we'll remove those also, and then I think we should just be able to slide this whole um, bracket forward or support beam or whatever you want to call it, and then we'll uh, we'll take these two 10 mils out, unhook the uh, AC line to the condenser, and we should be in pretty good shape uh, to hopefully pull this out. We'll drop it down below where that bracket is now. We'll pull it up out of its mount and then try to wiggle it out. Try to, I mean, it doesn't matter if we damage this one, but it'll be good to practice for when we have to get the other one in there. So let's give it a shot. Can't get a great camera angle here for you. Sorry about that. We got it loosened up there, um, so now it looks like we'll have to let's see, we'll loosen these two. Um, and I think that is it. Yep, we'll just loosen these two 10 mils, and then we'll be able to pull that off. So I probably won't even unclip the whole grill, or yeah, might as well just to get it, kind of get it out of the way for the time being. Just these two clips down here, because uh, they're all basically broken from the accident anyway. It's kind of why I didn't want to take them out, but... It's all right. Okay, now we got plenty of room. So let's unhook. We'll unhook these two lines, and uh, we should be able to slide that right out and pop the new one in. So these here, they seem to be. 
13 millimeter. And we'll unhook the lines now. So this this isn't charged. If it is charged, um, you would have some some gas leaking out of there. This isn't because there's such a big hole in it that it can't charge. It can't hold a charge. Now there's rubber there's rubber foots or uh, mounts that hold in the bottom, and um, you just slide this. See those rubber mounts there? It slides right out. So here's the condenser. I put some, uh, I put some, what's it called in here? Some dye through the system to see where it was leaking, and I actually didn't even need to because I can hear it. But um, then I tried to glue it too to see if glue would hold. And I actually didn't try to charge it after the glue sealed it, but um, I didn't have much. I'm taking a pretty long road trip, so I didn't want to take the chances with the kids. Uh, you know, losing their mind in there because it's too hot. So, that's the old one. Over here, we'll grab the new one. Um, this is the, this is from Vance Auto. This is the part number they have for my truck. Uh, let's hope it's the right one. This one has dual AC, or dual climate control. And, uh, so they're a little different between the two with the dual climate control and the just uh, without the dual. So let's see, hopefully, hopefully it's the right one. It does, looks kind of like the right one. As long as these brackets line up in the right spot. Uh, this also does not come with uh, the rubber, the rubber bushings that, that this one has in it so just keep those I'm just gonna match them up and they're not the same size at all of course it's a little bigger all right well let me let me call up and tell them that they gave me the wrong part. Seems like this happens all the time. But all right, let's go try to get the right one. All right, back at it. So I decided to go against um, zip tying all that on here because it just I don't really want to rig it up. Uh, went to Advanced Auto, returned that one. Got it, or went and looked at the other one that would work, and the thing was all bent to hell. Couldn't even use it. So, <laughs> ran around, ended up going to Napa, and I got one that's going to work. So, we'll throw this one in there now, and, um, and go from there. I don't know if you guys have the same problems as me, but it seems like whenever I go to a store car parts or something kind of seems like I always end up getting screwed with the parts end up running around running around and uh, either they don't have them or they have them and they're damaged so but uh well let's get let's get this thing in here now and uh, maybe I'll blow this radiator out first which is pretty Pretty grungy. Well, I might have just gained like 15 horsepower out of cleaning that the, the, uh, the inner cooler. All right, we'll get this installed in there. Make sure it fits properly. And this thing.
seems like you end up spending a bunch of time. It's easier for me, at least, just to go online and look up the parts myself, and then just order them and wait. Or if I know I'm doing a job, obviously I'll order them, and it, it makes life a lot easier. But who knows? Comment below if you guys, you know, have the same issues. Because I want—I always wonder if it's just me or if it's you know the whole. The, st the whole store thing or people working in the stores but some are real helpful and real good and then some are just like you know can't can't get it right Now we'll tighten everything up. I gotta go get a magnet now. Down to where all the 10 millimeters go to hide. Down in here. Shoot, I can't even get that in there. Got her. Basically, we're just gonna hook up some uh, refrigerant to it, and let's hope that she holds. All right, we got the uh, AC gauges. Um, I bought these off Amazon for thirty or forty dollars years ago, and I've used them a lot. I actually use them pretty often um, well not often but whenever I have AC problems obviously so I also bought some dye I just pour a little bit of dye here in this uh, the yellow hose and then that way it's just enough where it can show me if I do have a leak somewhere I don't think you need to go too crazy with it but You want enough to where it's gonna go out and show you. Uh, that's good to wipe on your shirt too. It'll show you where you have a leak, possibly. All right. So I'll hook the blue and the red up. They have the two uh, ends, so you can't mix them up. One the. Uh, the red, the high side, I guess, is is a bigger, bigger connection, and I'll show you those in a second. And 
I'm no AC guru by any means. Um, but there you go. So that's the low side, I guess, is what you got there on on Duramax, and then that's your high side. So we're gonna run it. Um, tank in there, a little uh, container of refrigerant that I have, I have two of them, so hopefully that's enough to fill this thing, if not I'll have to run to the store and grab more, I wasted one yesterday because I stuck it in there, well there's not much left of this one either, um, so I stuck it in there, thinking, thinking that it would work, but there was a hole in it, so that obviously didn't work. But let's get this truck started. Alright, so you're going to want the AC cranked up as high as you can get it in the truck. Um, and then we're going to We're going to want about 30 and about 150 or so on the low and high side, so we'll give that a shot. Alright, so we're pretty close, I think. Um, I'm at a refrigerant, so this will do for now. Um, I'm going to check the temperature inside the truck. But it's saying it's 85 degrees out in the front here. So those readings um, are pretty good for, I don't know, what I looked up online at least. That's what they said. Between 175 and 220 on the high side. And then um, I think it was 35 to 50 on the low side. So, the AC is definitely, definitely working. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's not very cold, but it's 70, it's showing 77 right now. Um, so it's 77, and then 110 showing outside, so. I think that's probably, well, I'm going to have to put a little bit more in here, I think. So I'll grab some tomorrow after work, and uh, we'll get this a little cooler. But I'm definitely, it's definitely going to be better than it was, that's for sure. But yeah, it's pretty simple to do. Honestly, the, the hardest part was getting the damn part, you know, trying to run around and get that. I wasted more time doing that. This job is like a 20, 20 to 30 minutes and then uh, just spending the time putting refrigerant in but if I would have had that dang compressor I mean the uh, condenser right the first time if they gave me the right one then, then I would have been good to go but it took me a little longer because of that well hey thanks again guys for checking out this episode of Holly's Garage um we got the condenser in there and charged the AC. It, it needs a little bit more refrigerant for sure. But um, she's done. Pretty much good to go. It'll take me a few more minutes to get a can and put it in there. So thanks for checking out this episode. If it helped you out, um, which I hope it did, please hit that uh, like button, thumbs up. And then uh, if you want to see more of this or other projects, just uh, hit that subscribe button. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw and you learned something. Thanks again.